Okay, so warmer weather means dishes made with fresh produce, including this spring pea risotto we're about to make. And joining me now is executive chef Jacob Williamson from Wolfgang Puck Pizzeria and Kachina inside the MGM Grand Detroit. Thank you for joining us. How you doing? Risotto, one of my favorites. Uh, and the greens, of course. I mean, tis the season, right? Tis the season. Spring's finally here. Uh, we have lots of different... Uh, uh, vegetables available, asparagus, peas, fava beans today. Like you said, we're going to make a spring pea risotto. Yeah. So we can go ahead and get that started. Let's do it. So we'll get, a, get your saute pan hot, you know, medium uh, to, excuse me, low to medium heat. Okay. A little olive oil, some butter. Got to have that butter. Butter makes everything better. Yeah, absolutely. Then we'll sweat some onions out. Saute them till they're nice and translucent, nice mm -hmm. and tender. Yeah, all of this is, I mean, risotto especially, it's about timing, isn't it? It is, it yeah. is. It can either be underdone or overdone, right. just, just like that. I've been there. <laughs> and uh, what do you like about working with all these greens in the springtime here? Uh, just the versatility, you know, yeah. you can do so much with them. You know, uh, the, the lighter cooking, the healthier cooking. Absolutely, absolutely. Next we'll add our, our arborial rice, which is traditionally used to uh, make risotto. Okay. It's an Italian rice, a little mm -hmm. bit starchier. The whole idea with making risotto is just keeping it moving. Yeah. So you activate the starches. You can't walk away from the heat. No. There. You just got to keep moving, keep stirring. Yep. Excellent, so we'll keep excellent. that going. Hey, while we're doing this, uh, what's going on at the restaurant? Uh, anything we should know about at the uh, Kachina? Well, here the first week of May, we have uh, Restaurant Week, Detroit Restaurant Week's coming yeah. up, and we'll be showcasing this dish as well as some other spring spring dishes for, for guests to come and enjoy. Yeah, fantastic. And, and the menu is constantly changing, correct? I mean, as the season progresses? Exactly, yeah. exactly. We try to stay seasonal as Excellent. best we can, absolutely. And, of course, if, you, if you're not feeling like you're doing this at home right, then you can always go to Chef Jacob and uh, get the risotto at the Exactly. At the restaurant. I'm always there. So, yeah. All right, so yes, we got to keep the risotto, the rice moving, the, the onions moving, the butter is just smelling so good right now. And we, we have more uh, ingredients to go. Let's keep going. All right, so get that hot, nice and toasted. Uh -huh. We're going to add a little white wine to it. All right. Kind of give it a nice acidity, yes. a little, a little uh, fruitiness. The dry white wine works best. Yep, love that sizzle there. So we can use vegetable stock or, uh, or excuse me, vegetable broth, chicken broth. Um, if you want to keep it more vegetarian, you know, mm -hmm. use vegetable. Yep. And just add it two or three ounces at a time. Oh, excuse me. And just keep it stirring. Yep. Keep As it moving. Once the uh, rice moving. absorbs the uh, liquid, you know it's time to add more. Gotcha. And the whole cooking process takes about 15 or 20 minutes, so you will be standing here, you know, watching it constantly. Yeah. Um, what I have done, though, is I've kind of fast forwarded a little bit. I have some uh, pretty much ready to go here. Power at television right here, yeah. Exactly. So we're going to get that hot. Okay. We're going to add some of our spring peas. There's that color we're looking for right there. Beautiful. All right. And the key here, we want to stress, keep stirring, keep moving. Keep stirring, get that Keep that rice going. There you go. Good. I think it needs a little more cheese, no? Maybe? Hey, we can. I was hoping to maybe make it, make it snow myself. Uh, well, please do. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, just a oh, little look more. Oh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, just Perfect. to keep it binding, right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> And, of course, this recipe you can find uh, on our website, uh, WXYZ.com. You can check it out on the Scene on 7 section. Uh, isn't it great working with springtime ingredients? It's just a yep. healthy option. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's all fantastic here. And uh, I'm, I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to try this if we've got a... Uh, I'm not sure if we've got I got one right here. here for you. A little pea shoots or pea tendrils would be That's a nice, nice garnish. Do you mind if I give this a shot here? Please do. Bon and, uh, appetit. Got a little mint oil as well. You know, oh, mint yeah. pea is kind of a, a classic combination that there. That is just beautiful. Thank you, Chef. And again, this is all on WXYZ.com. Check the Scene on 7 section. Mmm, there it is. I love spring. Agreed. Thank you, Chef. Agreed. Appreciate Thank you. It.